there's anything we all love then it is food we can fight over everything but when it gets to food we are united we all love food and so I'm happy to welcome Dr. Gregory Komlagan into the studio. He is the Deputy Director, CSIR Food Research Institute. Doc, good to have you. Thank you. And then we have Thomas Naja. You are Head of Commercialization at CSIR FRI. Yes, please. Welcome, You're welcome. to the Thank studio. You, Thank you, Did you come with some food or what? <laughs> that is good. If you are from CSR Food and Research something, something, I'm sure you came with some... We are here to invite you to Full Research for food. Oh, you are inviting me for food? Yes, exactly. Now I like that conversation. <laughs> so tell me, who is CSIR Food Research Institute? Okay. So for everybody, like you said, to survive, we need to eat food. Yes. So... The government, at a point, thought that, as a nation, we need to be food secured. Right. So, in 1963, the government, at the time, established Food Research Institute. 1963? By, yes. Wow. By Act of Parliament. So, we were established, and we are just one, or... An affiliate of CSIR, what we call Council for Scientific and Industrial Research. Research. Okay. So we were established, and for our core mandate as Food Research Institute, as a post harvest institute, mm -hmm. we are mandated to conduct applied research okay. into food processing and preservation, mm -hmm. food safety and quality food storage, marketing, and distribution. And we do all this research to formulate or come out with uh, technologies and solving problems to educate the government mm. on its food nutrition policy. I like that. So that as a country, we can be food secured. I see. That's very interesting because I see a lot of uh, entrepreneurs going into food processing, adding value to the food so that it stays longer on the stalls and all of that. So do you do, you do research to sell solutions to people to implement or you implement it yourself or what, what exactly is the mandate? How do you do what you do? Exactly. So what we do is that, uh, is he, is that we identify a problem, we, we sort for funds, we do the research, I don't know, the, the outcome is converted into a snapshot to other uh, product or services to solve particular problems. Mm. So what is done is that uh, when these are developed, then it is commercialized. Okay. It is uh, communicated to the general public. Okay. Those who want uh, training programs, they come currently with earmark about 30 different training programs. To mention but few are uh, the mushroom cultivation technology. We have a, a high quality cassava flour training. We have uh, a flatosin free granular paste processing. All, All right. these things are for grabs mm. for individuals and companies to establish and to create their own jobs. So these are some of the things we do. Apart from that, there are other tanker services that are being done to solve some problems for the industry. So you are the man for commercialization. Yes, please. That's why you're very excited about sure, this sure, question. Sure, sure, but do you, th does the CSIR Food Research Institute do um, uh, some of the commercialization by itself or you're solely into outsourcing your research solutions to and innovations to interested parties? Yes, so uh, we, we have some products that we've developed into the shelf of our shops Okay. for people like you to come and buy. Right. Yes, we have them when you go to shop.fullsearchjig.org, you will see uh, our online market where people can come and buy those things. Apart from that, we also do uh, what, what is called uh, contract production. You can come to us. You want us to produce mass volumes of some of our products, like Okunte. Okay, 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 Have okay. you taken set of Okunte before? No. You will love it. Mm. You will love it. Charlie, bring some. You don't have problem at all. Mm, bring some. So... Uh, these are some of the things we render to uh, the uh, the public. Okay. Yeah, but we, we have small shop like for it. people to, to see. So, Do dog, yes. yes. So to add to what uh, Thomas has said, you see, initially we were mandated 
to conduct research. Okay. And the research outputs are now commercialized by entrepreneurs. Okay. So government uh, takes care of our research okay. by, in terms of paying us Funding. and giving us resources to do the research. Okay. But at the end of the day, the research outputs are supposed to be taken up by entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs and commercial in the public people sector. to yes. scale up. So, but with time, we realize that we do the research and they were gathering dust on the shelves. Mm. So what do we do? We ourselves have the potential of even commercializing part of the work that we have done over mm -hmm. the years. Mm -hmm. So I'll give you an example. When, I'm sure you have heard of Neat Fufu. Yes. That technology was developed by food research. Okay. In partnership with other uh, institutions, sister institutions. Okay. What happened was the the despite company of uh, despite a group of companies, they came to us. We were doing this technology for them, but at a point in time, they took it, packaged it, so they will bring plantain. We do the plantain fufu for them, then they will package. And because they had radio at a the time. They went to advertise in mass uh, proportions. And right now, people would think that that fufu powder was the originators were... So basically, you do the innovation and then you sell it out. To, yes. So what about uh, IP issues, intellectual property issues? Do, how do you deal with that? Yes, so now we have an IP uh, department at CSIR. So all the new products or all the technologies we develop now, we try to do the patency so that formerly we were not doing that. Okay. But now... We have a department, a division. So, that with takes all care the that. food that we are talking about, I'm surprised you didn't come with food. You came empty-handed, you know. Yes, that is why we, as part of this uh, uh, commercialization drive, we are doing what we call the International Food Day. We are observing the International International Food Day. Food day. Yes. Tell me more. So, the UN sets aside one day mm -hmm. every year. That is October 16th mm -hmm. every year to celebrate World Food Day. Mm. And the idea is to create awareness about food security in the whole world. So what is food security? Food security is simply to the point that everybody should have access to food. Food should be available to everybody. So as part of our mandate at Food Research, we know how we can preserve food and make sure that food is available for everybody. Mm. So we we set aside one day in line with the global uh, celebration to create awareness about food security in Ghana and what we do at Food Research. That is why we are celebrating this year's Food Day. And instead of one day, we are making it three days from 16th to 18th of uh, Doc, October. are you just creating awareness or you are providing the thing itself so we can get <laughs> to come in? We want yes. to come in. Yes, you, 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 you talk about we not be bringing any food yeah, for you. No, we want you, you to have going. the appetite <laughs> so that uh, you can come next week. It's just next week. Uh, to go, right? so is it awareness you are doing or there is food there? You there's know, food. you have to be clear. There's awareness to come and see the food. <laughs> Okay. okay, you There's will love it. to yes. come and see the food. Yes. So, what kind of food is there? You know, give me the array of oh, okay. dishes that it, it, are it, available. It, 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 the exhibitors who are going to be those who produce food within food value chain, okay, ranging from raw material to okay. the finished product, okay. processed. Okay. And then our mothers who also cook for food, oh. banku. Oh. Okay, what plan? Mm -hmm. Are you are you you at them, man? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. I, 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 I can with see that uh, it's you, it's oh, you. Jesus. So they, they are coming. Now you are a talking to my spirit. Uh, apart from that, oh. there's going to be a farmer's market. Okay. Where fresh and quality oh, food, farm ah. produce, fresh from Ghana. Okay. You can come and come there to come and buy cheap. Okay. Okay. At the cheap. The prices price are there. cheaper there. Over there. So yes. you have farm produce there. Yes, please. Do you also have? So if I want to plant maybe some plantain or banana, do you have some suckers there? Do you have things like that? No. You just have the produce and then the processed stuff along the value chain. Yes, please. That's what you. Have. Our sister institute. Uh, uh, Opiara and uh, crop research, crop research. Okay. they were there okay. to showcase the seedlings. Okay. Oh, good. Seedlings. And the seeds. Because food research, yeah. we are a post harvest. Post harvest, institute. that's true. We take the food from the, uh, the field, that's and the true. farms, and okay. that is where we come in. Great. So, who qualifies to take part in the fair? Okay. So, 
people, entrepreneurs and companies with uh, products within food value chain. Mm -hmm. So it means that one can come there with uh, anything that is not food, clothes and whatever. No. Okay. It is food value Strictly. chain. Yes. Yes. So they are all invited. Okay. Food vendors, food uh, companies. I okay. mean. Is it free to vend? Oh, no, really. But okay. to some extent, okay. because a, a free vendor, like, like a food uh, uh -huh. seller, is supposed to pay just 250 Ghana cities. Oh, that's cool. And uh, a, a, a boot for uh, any other exhibitor mm -hmm. is for 560 Ghana cities that's for really three cool. days. That's really so cool. So I want to give you the, the, give me the, number. the, the product outline, yes. the, the program outline. You too. give me the number first. Okay. 04, 0243-759744. Seven five nine seven four four zero two four three seven five nine seven four four. Okay, and give zero me that. Mm -hmm. five zero eight nine two three six nine one. Good. So, what's the program outline? Yeah. So, from next week, Tuesday, mm -hmm. it will, uh, we, we are going to have quiz competition for first second institutions within Ayawaso okay. municipality, okay. and the second second schools within selected within. Uh, the same place. So the first second school mm -hmm. are going to be Achimota okay. Business School, Presec Business School, Legon Preparatory, Crash the King, and then uh, uh, what do you call it? Baolishi. Baolishi Basic. Uh, basic. Okay. And then the second second schools are going to be Achimota School. So on the first day, you have inter school competition. competition. That, that's quiz competition. That's the main thing on the, the first right. day. That's to no, not the first day. A, a day preceding. Okay. So on the fifteenth. Okay, that's that what you Tuesday. do. So what do you do on the first day? On the first day is going to be the opening of the exhibition. Great. And then the exhibition continues, continues throughout the throughout the, the, the rest of our the Our sector day. minister will be there. Okay. Our director general and the special dignitaries will be there. The mm. MP for Iowa and all those people mm. will be there. So I guess these are some of the groups and institutions supporting the program. Definitely. Good. So CTFM Channel One TV. Mm -hmm. Uh, Kopia, mm -hmm. uh, Honorable, uh, I also West Wagon MP, mm -hmm. Honorable Syriam Alassan. Yeah. These are the people. FD, 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 yes. EPP Books, they are all uh, sponsors oh, for fantastic. now. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you for passing by Dr. Gregory A. Komlaga, Deputy Director, CSIR Food Research Institute, and Thomas A. Naja. Uh, head of commercialization C S I R F R A. A big one happening. Do well to pass by. Thank you so much for passing through the studio. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Keep the good work. Thank you so much.